Hey Sprouts, during the months of June and July, we will not be having new content here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast. Instead, we will be revisiting some of my favorite weeks of content. And here is one of those weeks. Enjoy! You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, October 15th, 2018. It is also the feast day of a doctor of the church, St. Teresa of Avila. Now, last week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we spent the entire week talking about Jesus Christ, and we talked about his character, his mission, but this week we have to turn and look at ourselves and ask ourselves, What are we called to be if we choose to be followers of Jesus Christ? Now, Jesus had a lot to say about this in the Gospels. In fact, at one point he said, If you wish to follow me, you must pick up your cross and follow me. But what does this mean? Well, luckily, we have four tremendous saint feast days this week that help us really define what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. The first saint that we will talk about is today's saint, St. Teresa of Avila. And St. Teresa of Avila teaches us that in order to be a follower of Jesus, We need to get down and do the work of Christ. Even when it's hard, even when it's jam-packed with suffering, we need to persevere and do the work of Christ. Now let's talk a little bit about St. Teresa of Avila. So St. Teresa lived in the 1500s. She was a Spanish sister, means she lived in Spain, and she was a mystic, which means, means that she had mystical experiences where she witnessed Jesus Christ. She was also a Carmelite nun. Now, she was raised by a wealthy wool merchant and grew up with all the privileges. When her mom died at 11, she grew closer to her spiritual mother, Mary, and remained close to Mary her whole life. Shortly after that, she experienced a terrible illness, and during those illnesses, she experienced ecstasies. An ecstasy is a mystical experience. It looks like someone's having a stroke, but in fact... They have almost left their body and have had a moment or even longer, a perfect union with God. And through these mystical experiences that she had as a young girl, St. Teresa became aware of how horrible sin is, how much it wounds our Lord and how it damages our relationship with him. And so for the rest of her life, she strove very hard to never sin and to never offend God in that way. She entered a Carmelite monastery to become a nun at 20 years old, but the convent that she entered and many Carmelite um, convents at the time were very lax, means that they have gotten away from their fundamental purposes. Um, many visitors came, People, the nuns sat around and talked about unimportant or even vain things. And it almost, this environment almost completely destroyed the sisters' opportunity to pray. And the Carmelites' main purpose is to support the world through prayer. So if they can't do that, then St. Teresa wondered, why are we doing any of this? And so St. Teresa struck out to reform her order. She sought to get back to the funding, the fundamental principles, to get back to prayer and to embrace poverty, something our Lord experienced and something that the Carmelite order was founded upon. So St. Teresa spent her life reforming this order, reforming the hearts of the nuns that belong to this order, teaching them how to actually pray and teaching them about the true identity of Jesus Christ. She also inspired them to, to be like her and to do the hard work, to clear away the junk 
and allow Christ's light to shine through. And here's a beautiful poem that St. Teresa wrote that really gets at why we need to do this work. Here's the poem. Christ has no body but yours, no hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes with which he looks compassion on the world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands with which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands, yours are the feet, yours are the eyes, and you are his body. Now, isn't that such a beautiful reminder that Christ can do anything, but he chooses to do his beautiful work through his followers, through us. And so, Sprouts, I have a challenge for you today. It's a very simple prayer, but make it with a true heart, and it can do wonders. Here is a prayer I want you to say in the silence of your heart. Lord, use me for your work. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. And finally, Sprouts, Today's episode of the Catholic Sprouts podcast was sponsored by a generous listener who doesn't want any recognition, but simply wants to use this time to remind you to always, always trust in the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of our beloved Mother Mary.